Today is Thursday, July 14 to 016. Yesterday, this male, one year old guinea pig, came in as he was in pain and so could not move. So, the history was eight days ago, the guinea pig was crying uh, frequently as if seeking attention. So, the owner brought him in and uh, I palpated the abdomen, there was some pain. So an x-ray was done and this is the x-ray and the x-ray showed definitely there was a big stone. Now this stone look about uh, 5 millimeter in uh, diameter <coughs> and uh, since the guinea pig had been sick for over a week crying for attention, I did not uh, advise surgery to remove the bladder stone while it was still in the bladder. So the owner brought the guinea pig back and uh, give him painkillers, antibiotics and, lexi and uh, laxative, hand feeding the guinea pig. The guinea pig did not really want to eat himself. So hand feeding, six times a day water, and uh, about maybe 500 ml spread over six times a day. The guinea pig was still not uh, fully recovered from the pain. He was still he was still crying with pain when he urinated or pee or, or poop. Now the poop came out. The poop came out, and then. Uh, he was uh, much better, but uh, suddenly overnight, it was much better. Now this is the ventral dorsal view. You can see the guinea pig stone was still stuck in the bladder, still in the bladder. But due to the poor health of the guinea pig, I did not uh, advise surgery as he would suddenly die under anesthetic. Then eight days later, which was July 13, the guinea pig suddenly could not uh, walk and had become uh, very weak. There was fever and I had another x-ray taken this time you can see the stone was lodged in the urethra. Now the guinea pig had passed blood in the urine and the owner is much aware of it, but still he wasn't eating on his own. He still had to be hand fed. So there was really a swelling of the of the bladder, as you can see. Now eight days later, as compared to to early on, early on there was pain on urination and blood in the urine, but. There was no swelling of the bladder. As you can see, the bladder was still not so big, but the stone was inside the bladder. You can see the stone was inside the bladder. It is ago, but nothing can be done because the guinea pig was not in a good, good health. So I did not uh, propose any surgery due to the high risk of death on the operating table. But then now, eight days later, the stone is lodged in the urethra. As you can see, it's lodged in the urethra. And this is really a big swollen bladder. I could palpate it about the size of a golf ball. The stone still remains to be there. And on the ventral dorsal view, you can see the stone is more onto the midline, which means that uh, it is really lodged at the at the urethral opening of the bladder. So this is quite complicated now, and uh, it's the owner had no choice but to risk anesthetic to operate on it, yeah, because. 
you, if you don't operate, the guinea pig would die. You operate, it might die as well. So it was really a Hobson's choice whether to operate or not to operate. So owner gave permission for operation. And this was done yesterday. And uh, the stone was removed from bladder incision near to the neck of the urethra or the bladder and uh, this is the stone now I will show you the stone you can see the stone is around 5 mm which is about the size of what is seen in the x-ray you can see the x-ray X-ray, you can see that uh, the size of the stone is quite close to the actual size of about four to five millimeter, and uh, this was removed from the urethra. Unfortunately, the guinea pig did not uh, survive due to him being sick and not be eating for past 8 days so these are the risks of surgery to do or not to do and uh, if we don't do then the bladder will just fill up and back pressure to the kidneys causing kidney failure and of course bladder rupture as well as blood in the urine and cystitis so the, the surgery was done, the stone was removed from the urethra end but the guinea pig did not make it so it's a very uh, sad ending top of your vets Singapore July 14 to 016 and see the urethra is the stone is really large and the opening of the pelvic urethra yeah.